So now it's time to do something that is less functional and just more decorative. I have used my block of plasticine here, of this, uh, this uh, modeling clay, this oil-based modeling clay that I got at uh, Dollarama. And I've used well over half of it to make the, uh, you know, I don't even know what it's called, but you might reckon this, recognize this from the Borg, Borg hand. 709 has this, and uh, so I've made it for my right hand, since uh, this is the hand that will be uncovered, and I've made it exactly for my hand. Uh, what I have around here, I just have a border around for when I when I uh, pour the plaster into there, and I've made some risers here for for this. I have a mesh. I'm just gonna stick it down in there. This is just to help reinforce the the mold itself because I don't have it built up very high. They say you should have it a bit higher than this, but uh, I happen to have this bit of of. Uh, wire mesh so I'm going to put it in there and that will reinforce the mold and I just have it on a, uh, a flexible uh, flexible mat here uh, yeah I just had some of my my tools that I use for shaping didn't use anything very complicated it did, did, did take me a while to do some of the detail and if I can get that focused there it is the my favorite part here of course is this impression that I took from you might recognize this circuit board that I had showed in another video and it's a really low profile board and I just lightly pressed it into there and uh, made a nice little little pattern to make this my own uh, just today I went to Michael's and I got uh, this box of plaster it was on clearance I got it for six dollars it's a giant bag of plaster be careful with that and so I'm gonna mix them up in the bucket and uh, pour it in there and hopefully it will make the mold. So this might work, it might not. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this, so we'll see how it goes.